getting ready to show you how I blanch and freeze uh, green beans. Sometimes I will can them in a pressure canner or water bath method and other times I will blanch and freeze. And I don't really have a preference one way or the other, but this is what I can tell you. Usually if I pick green beans and I don't have like a huge amount, I will usually blanch and freeze those. If I pick green beans and I have just a ton of green beans, I usually will can those. Now there is some differences in how long they will store for. They will both are suitable for long-term storage. But in my history, green beans that are canned will store longer, like two years. Green beans that are frozen will go about six to eight months, and then they'll probably start to get freezer burn. So that's another thing to keep in mind too. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put up a list of the actual steps that I use, and then I'm going to show you just a little bit of each step. You are going to need a pan of boiling water large enough to fit the green beans. You're going to need a cutting board or just something large enough for you to cut the ends off the green beans. And I usually cut green beans down to about a one inch size whenever I'm going to blanch and freeze them. And if I'm going to can them, I usually leave them full length. Having a colander in a sink makes it really quick work to clean the green beans up before you cut them. You are also going to need a large bowl that is filled with ice water. So the first step you're going to do, you're going to put your green beans in a colander and then you're going to spray them down to get all the dirt and stuff off of them. This will also make any blemishes show up better. Once you have them washed off, you can tell that blemishes stick out like a sore thumb. Anything that's got a blemish you can cut out the blemish and the rest of the bean is okay. So on the cutting board, you're going to be looking for blemishes to get rid of and you're also going to cut both of the ends off of each green bean. Now one thing I forgot to mention is since I don't actually need the ice water right now, what I'll do is I will use that bowl to hold the green beans. And I use, sometimes I'm, I'm kind of doing this just one bean at a time for this video, but I usually just line these up and do several at a time. I'll find one that's got a blemish so I can show you how I do those. Here's one with a blemish there on the end. Basically what I would do, I would cut past the blemish. I would look at the green bean. If the rest of the green bean looks okay, then that's fine. Now I know there's going to be some people out there be like, you can just snap the beans and that is correct. And snapping is basically where you're using your fingers to just tear the ends off and then you break it into whatever size that you want it. You can do it whichever way you prefer. I'm just saying that there is options. All right, the next step, once you get all of the green beans ends cut off, and cut to length is to put them in hot boiling water for three minutes. You don't want them to be crowded. So I usually do this like in two batches. I don't know, there's not really a lot of green beans in this batch. So then I set my timer for three minutes. And while that's happening, I go ahead and prepare the uh, ice water bath. You can see that I've run water into a bowl and added ice to it. Now what I'm going to do is this ice is probably going to melt before the three minutes is up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my colander and put it kind of like here and just kind of wiggle it around until it soaks down in there. Then if I need to add more water, once I get the green beans in there, I can add more water. Now we're going to go straight from the hot boiling water into the ice water and I'm basically going to use uh, some sort of a utensil that's got like holes in it that I can scoop it out with like a spaghetti spoon you're going to leave these in here until they are cold if you need to add more ice you can add more ice to it 
All right, so I've added more ice in there. We're basically going to let this sit until this is cold. Then we're going to drain the water off. Let me show you the next station I've got set up. I usually just lay a kitchen towel down. Then I take them out of the colander and lay them flat. Then I put another towel over top of it and I just try to get as much water off of them as I can before I put them in a gallon freezer Ziploc bags to put in the freezer. I usually take and pick the ice out. You can either do that before you dump them out or after. Spread these out. The name of the game here isn't to get them totally dry but just get as much water off of them as possible the water is actually what will cause freezer burn eventually water and air is actually the cause of freezer burn so once i have it down to this point by the way i never mentioned why you're actually blanching these so if you don't blanch green beans, what will happen is if you just took them out of the garden, cleaned them off, and froze them, what would happen is you would pull them out of the freezer and unthaw them, and they would be mushy and wouldn't have any taste. So by boiling them, that locks in the flavor, and then by shocking them by going from hot to cold, that keeps them crisp even after they freeze. The next part is just bagging them up after I dry these off one more time with another towel. Bag these up. I'll bring it back when that's done. Now, final step is get as much air out of them as possible. You do that by jiggling the bag. They'll settle to the bottom. Then you roll it over as tight as possible and seal it. Usually what I do is I seal it almost all the way over. Then jiggle the bag. Like you're doing a wrapping present. You're wrapping a present. Kind of make it really tight. Finish sealing it. That gets as much air out as possible. Then you put what it is with a marker because if you put these in their freezer without labeling it for what it is in the year what's going to happen is they're going to get shifted around in your freezer and three years later you're going to find a bag of vegetables you have no idea what they are so i just put green beans like you can't tell what they are and then the date seven nine 24 then they go in the freezer that's all there is to it now some people have a step they do before this where they flash freeze it on a cookie tray i don't never do that because to be honest with you by probably october or november these are going to be eight and gone anyways i'll use these in soups between now and then they're not going to be like in the freezer for a long time. If I was planning to keep these in the freezer for a really, really long time, I might actually do that where you basically just lay them out. You get as much water off of them as you can. Lay them out on like a cookie sheet. Stick the cookie sheet in your freezer until they freeze. Then take them out and then add the frozen green beans to the bags. But since I know they're only going to be in there a couple months, they're going to be just fine just the way this is. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.